On this video, we'll be traveling to Sklanchka Paremba. This is a town in Yelenagura district. It's located 139 kilometers from Wrocław, which makes it 2 hours and 7 minutes by car, depending on traffic. And by train, it's 3 hours and 8 minutes, also depending on whether there's construction happening along the way or not. The town has a small population of around 6,500. This town is popular for its beautiful and high mountains which also makes it popular for mountain hiking cycling and skiing and also in Sklanska Paremba you can find beautiful restaurants beautiful ski resorts I think at an affordable price some of them some of them of course they can be a little bit expensive so I hope you will enjoy this video and enjoy hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Pingy Pingy left her hair original from South Africa but currently living in Poland guys i'm so tired because it's very early in the morning not very very early but it's 7 30 and i woke up at 6 30. um we are on our way to sklanchka poremba so we are going to this place a year later and it's raining cats and dogs outside look i'm even wearing my partner's rain jacket but i think it will help me because the weather is crazy outside and we already planned this trip so if you're new here my darling my sweetheart welcome and thank you so much for being on my channel and please make sure that you don't live without subscribing and if you're a returning subscriber a new subscriber my darling my sweetheart welcome back and thank you so so much for being here thank you for your love and your loyalty so yeah guys we have to go because we are trying to catch a tram to go to the train station because it's raining outside so it can be easier for us so anyway uh i'll talk to you on our way i think maybe when i'm in the train so this is my outfit look at my stomach and i'm carrying this bag with my book and my camera and da -da -da -da. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam Come the morning, or I'll be gone Guys, at this point I'm thinking, should I go back home? sleep or should I continue with this trip because it's raining and <laughs> sleep will be a good idea right now but we said we wanted to be on YouTube so this is what we have to do even if we if we have to go out looking like this then yeah we don't have a choice this jacket it's really really helpful and the owner of the jacket is not wearing anything <laughs> because i have his own <laughs> his rain jacket so yeah oh my goodness let me show you the railway station if you don't remember <laughs> supposed to be here anytime soon so i'm hoping that we will get a place to sit because this is a train where you cannot sit um, so it might be a little bit tricky for us we might have to fight for places but you know what oh my word yeah and it's still raining but right now it's just drizzling it's not raining 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 it's just drizzling and i hope it will stop so that we can have a very nice trip because the place that we are going to is not the same as the one that we went to last year it's the same town but we are going to a different direction because this place is big and it has a lot to offer so we are going to a different direction and it's very up in the mountain i think we have to take the car the car the, the, 
the car, the one that it's going by. <laughs> the cable, is it the cable car? The cable car. Hey, Angaz, that one. So that one, we have to take this car up the mountain. That's how high it is. And we are just hoping that the train gets here before a lot of people come. But it seems like a lot of people are coming. So anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. And I hope you're still enjoying this video. Thanks. Hey guys, we are in luck because we made it to the train. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because it's packed. It's packed. Every time when you're going to scratch the parimba, you need to be extra careful because the trains are different. They have different times. Uh, another one is at six, seven, and we having this one at eight. We are catching this one at eight, thinking that there won't be a lot of people. But believe me, there's a lot of people. And one thing we forgot is that yesterday it was the last day of school for kids, so a lot of kids are going to summer camps and everything. So so it's packed it's packed so we had to push people around just to get inside the train but anyway yeah we are inside and we have our seat partner is here next to me so yeah it's still raining cats and dogs outside watch the trees fall in leaves like the breeze want to blow I'ma pack my grip One more trip And I'ma move on Hey guys, we are finally here in Sklanshka uh, I'm so excited to be here That's one thing about Sklanshka Starting the trip, it's very annoying It's very difficult but once you get here, it's much easier because you start seeing this beautiful view because it's so beautiful. It's amazing. So I'm not going to show you the train station because on the last video of Splash Bank, I did show you the train station. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you will enjoy this video. And yeah, one thing I don't like about coming here is because it's, it's a very long ride coming here. So you, you are in the train for about three hour or three hour 30 minutes so it's a bit long so that's the only thing that i can say i don't like about this place but anyway right now first things first we are going to get something to eat because i'm so so hungry the time right now it's like um 11 30 and we left the house at 7 30 so you can just imagine and i didn't have breakfast so i'm so hungry and we're gonna go and get something to eat and the lighting here is really bad much better so anyway stay tuned and keep on watching today we were going to a very beautiful mountain called national court where this mountain from sklanska paremba walking it's like 9.6 kilometers and also it's two hours and 45 minutes walking but there's an another option which you can take which is cable car so you can use cable car going up which will make the hours less but then for you to take the cable cars you need to be careful with the time because coming back the cable cars ends at 4 p.m so by 4 p.m you have to be coming down which is something that we made a mistake on on this trip because we went to this mountain absolutely late we were supposed to be a bit earlier but we got here around 11 and instead of us going up we started going to other places like to get food and stuff like this so we initially started our trip at 1 p.m which made us uh, i think it put us in a very compromise situation because we ended up not getting up there but let me tell you something we didn't give up because we came back the following weekend to finish our trip so this was nearly a failed trip but we redeemed ourselves by coming back so enjoy <music> Come the morning, 
I'll be gone. So we're gonna go to Jacques now and buy hand sanitizer because we didn't have hand sanitizer. Get on. you about restaurants at the beginning of this video scrunch caparimba has amazing restaurants of course i haven't tried some of them but the ones that i have tried they have amazing food amazing customer service we went to this spot beggar this is a beggar place the beggars are amazing you have a lot of choices that you can choose from and the beggars are just tasty the customer service it's amazing it's a pity that there was a construction construction going on and i think it's going to be there for a while so this place is losing a bit of business so hey guys we are finally sitting and we are at this restaurant i'm trying to fix my hair um so we are at this restaurant the name of the um, this place it's uh is it spot so the name of this restaurant is Spot. We don't know how the food will be, but we saw a lot of good reviews. So I'm just hoping that it's gonna be nice. Um, I really hope you can hear me because there's a construction outside. Um, the people are having a construction outside, but the place is very, very nice, regardless of the madness that is happening outside. Because if I can show you outside, it's really, really mad, crazy. And one thing I like is that they have a menu in English so if you come here you will have a menu in English so it will be much easier for you to order something so anyway stay tuned and keep on watching oh one thing I need to say is that everywhere when we travel we are always having a beggar so even now we are going to have a beggar so yeah anyway keep on watching Bye. okay so I'm happy Mm -hmm. Maybe cappuccino. Can I order more time? Uh, 
uh, we, we, you can take our order. Do you have cappuccino? Yeah. Cappuccino? Cappuccino, yes, mm -hmm. of course. Cappuccino, latte. Middle what? The meat. The meat for mine. Well done, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And the French fries, onion rings with potatoes. Can I have uh, normal fries? French fries? Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's all. For that's all. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, where is the button? Okay. Oh, okay. jealous that I didn't order what he ordered but I'm always like this ordering things you know? and he got this isn't it beautiful and he has a I have a little cookie here so yeah So guys, we are waiting for our food and we are having coffee. Um, I'm having cappuccino and Mr. Mountain Man, he's having um, a latte. You're having a latte? Yes. Guys, the reason why I'm saying Mr. Mountain Man, I've changed from partner to mountain man. It's because I'm dating a mountain man, okay? My partner loves mountains. He loves mountains. On weekends, we can we can decide. We can like talk and be like, okay, what are we going to do for the weekend? And my mountain man will be like, I want to walk to the mountains. It's very interesting. Yeah, right? True. Yesterday I said, let's go to support. You said one day. And when he t wait, uh, uh, when he told me this, when he said. <laughs> when he told me this guys because he said we should go to Sopot and Sopot is like the seaside in Poland like Itebeni as a Poland you know no actually Cape Town of Poland yes Cape Town of Poland so he said we should go there one day guys I was so excited because this person doesn't go to the seaside every time when we have to go we have to go to the mountains Mountain men. Thank you. Ooh, this looks much better. This much better. Thank you. Oh my goodness, this bag looks amazing. Okay. okay. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. This is my thing. Hey guys, so we are done eating and right now we are going up the mountain. And I see a lot of people are starting to go now. I was afraid that maybe we are a little bit late and it will be awkward going up at this time. So yeah. Oh my goodness guys, I'm so full. I am so full. But feedback on on the restaurant. It was really nice. The food was really nice. But the beggars are so big. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, instead of me leaving my beggar, uh -uh, I'm not going to leave my beggar. I'm just going to take my beggar with me. You get me, right? So yeah, um, I ate it all and my fries were left. So what I did is I took my fries and put them in the bag so that if I get hungry, then, <laughs> then up the mountain I'll eat this. Okay, 
like so we were here to take the cable car so i think around this time it was 1 15 um so one thing you need to know is that the people who are working here with the cable cars around 2 p.m they are going on lunch so they are going for 30 minutes lunch i think so so if you're coming here you need to make sure that you come before this time so that you are not late because once you are late you can wait here for 30 minutes <laughs> O 16 macie Państwo ostatni powrót, a teraz zapraszam do wypadku, bo za chwileczkę będzie przerwa. Kolejne wyjazdy za pół godziny. Okej, dziękuję. So the tickets were bought and we bought two tickets. So for one person, I think it was 50 zlotis because for both of us we paid 116 zlotis for two people this is going and coming back using the cable car because remember guys i told you that going up we use the cable car and on this particular day coming down also we use the cable car but now you have to take it two times that's why we had to pay 116 for two people because we will get off on another stop and take another one to another stop and when we get to the second stop we had to pay i think uh 12 zlotis because this is the amount you need to pay in order for you to enter this um i think this national park because this part of the town it's a national park so i think that's why we had to pay another amount on top of the 116 lotis that we paid so yeah i hope this makes sense for you to come here you need to come a little bit early before 1 p.m because at 2 p.m those people are going for lunch so you have to wait for 30 minutes so that's 30 minutes wasted so anyway guys keep on watching I'm a rolling stone bound to roam. Come the morning, or oh, I'll be gone. Pouring rain, on oh, hear that train. There she comes. Won't you get on? I'ma pack my grip One more trip And I'ma move on Okay, for some reason I thought we were lost But no And we are trying to walk as fast as possible Because we don't know if we will have time to go back down Because we have to be back by four so i don't know uh so which way there should be signs here but there are no signs so it's really 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 not nice i don't know maybe this way it's going there yeah mm -hmm. so we have a shortcut here we are confused exactly what's going on so i think i think 
So yeah, we found a shortcut, so we're gonna walk here. Uh, the road, of course, not comfortable. Look, this is how it looks. It's looking like. So I cannot walk and vlog here because I'm afraid that I might fall. So yeah, guys, talk to you later. The reason why I was um, recording or inserting the time frame on the last clips, it's for you to see why we didn't make it up. The reason why we didn't make it up is because we got here um, in at, uh, what is this place, Shreniska? We got here at uh, around 1.52 and the cable cars were going back down at 4 p.m. So the distance from Srinita to Shneshne Kotwe is like one hour and 18 minutes. So we didn't have time to finish our trip. We were so close at this time. I was so mad because we were trying to walk as fast as possible. We were trying to push, but it was not possible. And along the way, we saw Mr. Fox, and this is the fox. People were taking pictures and all those kind of things. But oh my goodness, this was a failed trip and i was so angry i was so mad that we didn't make it on time and yeah we had to go back down so yep that's me as you can see i'm walking as fast as possible so that we can make it back to the cable car on time because we didn't book a hotel which is one thing which is one mistake we made coming here make sure if you don't have a car like me or like us make sure that you definitely definitely book a hotel so that you can sleep over and don't have to worry about going back down but unfortunately for us we had to go back because we had our train um in the next two hours so for us to be able to catch this train we definitely definitely had to go back to the cable car i hope i make sense watch the trees falling leaves like the breeze want to blow here we are on the second take of this trip so today it's the next saturday and we are going back to a place that we went to last time because last time we had a few problems so today we are going back to finish the trip and today we are well prepared i even have my bucket head on and everything of course change of outfit oops i nearly dropped my phone of course change of outfit but we are very very prepared so i hope you will enjoy this video let's go 
so on the second take of this trip we did a lot of things differently because we learned from last time so on this trip we planned that we were going to use the cable car again to go up but coming back we are going to walk which is going to take us like two hours or one hour 30 minutes walking back down so as you can see right now i'm still in rodsworth and we are going to catch the train going to sklanj kaparamba and this time we we're not in a hurry because another thing that we did is we booked a hotel for a night and the place that we found it was very cheap it was very very cheap and it was nice and it was very simple place not fancy or anything because we only needed this place for one night so we stayed at this hotel for for a night after we came back down from the mountain and i must say this time we were successful because the trip was amazing and i was able to get up there and i was able to do what i wanted to do in a while which is to get up to this mountain so keep on watching and enjoy this video on the next trip i was complaining that we've been stuck in this one place for some time because apparently there's some construction that is happening so we had to wait for another train to come so we're waiting for like 15 to 20 minutes and here i was just showing you that there was a dog that was sitting on my side but it was a very cute dog and i was just saying that when i get off the train i'm just gonna take it because it was sitting on my side not with its owner so keep on watching and enjoy this video At this point, I feel like we live here. You know, we are back again for the second time this year. So, tadam, stanchka poramba tadam. So, hey guys, me again. Uh, we are walking uh, up again. So, like I said, we are today. We are finishing the trip in stanchka poramba. And I'm walking in a very nice place because the other day we walked on the other side and today we are walking on the other side so it's very very beautiful so I will just show you like this street is like streets for hotels so I'll just show you how it's looking second take on this trip we decided that when we get to Shrenica we are not going to take the shortcut that we took last time but we are going to take the normal route and this normal route led us to this beautiful rock formation that is called three pigs and this is what it translates to in english and actually being here it actually gave us the view of where we are going it's so beautiful it's so amazing which gave us more motivation to keep on walking because it's beautiful and amazing and one thing that i liked is that this time around we we're not in a hurry because we knew that we were spending the night in slan chaparemba it didn't matter what time we came back down hey guys so on the clip that i just showed you uh, we are going up there so we will be we will begin our official walk now so we are hoping that today we'll actually get up there and because this is the last time we are coming here it's the last time so i hope we'll be able to do it and i hope that we will manage and to take some videos also when we get up i'm just lazy to take out my camera i don't know why but yeah i just hope everything will be fine getting up there so see you later guys i'm so happy i'm so proud of myself we are almost there i think like 20 minutes uh 20 minutes or less and we'll be there i'm so so proud of myself like because it's a very long walk it's a very very long walk it's like uh, two and a half hours walking so whew, i'm so tired but yeah yeah i did it <laughs> Just take a look at yourself Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fighting yourself Trying to forget how you felt
just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain away Sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't Sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't But we could be so we are finally here and we are up already i'm so so happy because we have a drone with us so i'm wondering if we can be able to fly it here because it's so windy and for you to fly a drone here you need to pay and you need to ask for permission so i just hope that uh it will we will be able to fly here and all those kind of things so i'm just going to show you behind me how it how it's looking like how beautiful it is oh my goodness it's wonderful it's amazing i can't believe that i made it here i'm so happy and i'm really really proud of myself so let me just turn and just show you how it's looking like okay i just hope i don't fall can you see behind me it's actually down can you see so we're just gonna go on to the other side and just to see like over there where these people we're just gonna go there and try and make a movie there it should be nice it should be beautiful so let's go i am bent but i'm glad that i bought this bucket head because it feels much the sun is not too harsh and up here it's windy so if you come up here you definitely you definitely need to bring a jacket and i hope you can hear me because of this wind so i hope i mean when you come up here you definitely need to bring a jacket and you definitely <laughs> need to bring a hat if it's hot because it can be a bit hot sometimes and this hat is helpful mainly because my lashes are behaving because if i take it off my lashes are like flying you know <laughs> so thank you for watching Yay. sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't but we could be it's so beautiful it's so peaceful you know i was not showing a lot of myself in the on this video because there was a lot to show and we were trying to figure out uh, how to fly this drone but we were able to figure it out so look guys look oh my goodness it's so beautiful it's so amazing it's refreshing to be here it's a bit windy my hands are a bit freezing but 
I'm black like that. Let's go. So look how I'm walking. Oh, oh. One thing I need to say is that you need to come here with someone you trust because if it's someone you don't trust, they might push you down there. So. <laughs> Delicious guys, look. <laughs> oh my god, oh my goodness, guys. If you see me like this, don't be surprised. It's so so windy. I'm so happy that this jacket, the other one that I the, the one that I told you that my partner gave it to me, um it protects you against uh the rain the wind and probably the storm <laughs> i don't know but oh my goodness it's so helpful and i cannot feel the wind and i can see everyone here is wearing jacket like this so if you come to scratch up or remember, invest in a jacket like this you see like oh i'm so so happy with this jacket and thank you for investment this is an investment you are investing in me Just take a look at yourself Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself Trying to forget how you felt Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain away Sometimes it works out Sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't But we could be everything, everything, anything that we see we could be We could be everything that we want We could be everything, everything, anything that we see we could be We could be anything that we want You think if they said it, then they must mean it So you should feel it, so I think that you need it Others' opinions to know how you're feeling, to know if you're losing or winning. Left behind or within it, if you're sinking or swimming, existing or living. Nothing us. that they could do, nothing that they could say, nothing that they could do to take all the pain away. Sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't. Sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't. We could be everything, everything, anything that we see we could be We could be everything that we want We could be everything, everything, anything that we see we could be We could be anything that we want But we could be everything, everything, anything that we see we could be We could be everything that we want We could be Finally, it was time for us to go back down and it was time to say goodbye to this beautiful place. The time here, it was around 6 p.m. or 6.30 p.m. As you can see, there are no people because people have started going down already a long time ago and you wouldn't expect to see people going up. But believe me, we saw people going up and here I was just showing you the beautiful view and where we were walking. This time around, we decided to take a shortcut which i don't think it was a good idea because this road is a bit difficult going down because you need to be careful because of the rocks and everything but nevertheless we made it down and along the way we came across this beautiful beautiful bridge which has a little bit of um, a waterfall a very small waterfall 
by the way and we were able to take some few pictures and make a, a video using our drone so guys thank you so much for watching up to this far and i know this video was long but if you made it up to this far thank you so so much i really appreciate you and please make sure that you don't live without subscribing if you're new here make sure that you like comment and share this video bye we could be